9. Find the lengths of the sides of the triangle PQR. Is it a right triangle? It is an isosceles triangle. So we have points 3, negative 2, negative 3, 7, 0, 1, and 1, 2, 1. So what we're going to do is use the, the formula for the distance between points in 3D, which equals d equals the square root of x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 squared plus z minus z1 squared. And we're going to do this first segment, pq, pr, let me do this in different colors, pq, PR and QR. So this is the three sides of our triangle. So for PQ, D equals seven minus three squared plus zero minus minus two, which is plus two squared plus one minus minus three, which is plus squared. This equals 16, four squared, which is 16, plus two squared, which is four, plus four squared, which is 16, which is squ square root of 36, which equals six. All right, so for PR, the distance equals 1 minus 3 squared plus 2 minus minus 2 squared, which is 2 plus 2, 1 minus minus 3, which is 1 plus 3 squared. And this equals 2 squared, which is 4, plus 4 squared, which is 16, plus 4 squared, which is 16. So we have six. So we know two decided there's six. But this doesn't yet um, delineate if it's an isosceles or a right triangle. So we need to go find the, la the last segment, the last side of the triangle, which is QR. So D equals one minus seven squared plus two minus zero squared plus one minus one squared. And this equals six, six squared, which is 36, plus four, two squared, which is four, goes square root of 40. Let's see if you can uh, simplify this at all. 15, 20, four and five. So we get two root 10. And you can see that this will form an isosceles triangle because an isosceles triangle is one where you have two sides that are the same, then you just have a, another side. And this doesn't conform to a squared plus b squared equals c squared because you can't uh, combine any of the side lengths such that this formula is true. And just to show you one step further with the visual, that this is an isosceles triangle, uh, let me take you to the graph. So as you can see, I plotted a P, Q, and R. It forms this triangle. And if we orient it the right way, you can uh, see how it's an isosceles triangle and not nowhere close to a right triangle. 